President Tsai Ing-wen today led official commemorations of the 228 incident, promising 70 years after the start of the KMT crackdown on perceived opposition to identify those responsible for the violence. Tsai also vowed to push efforts to secure transitional justice in the current legislative session, saying that the goal of such efforts was reconciliation, not division. On the first February 28 of her term, President Tsai promised at a central government memorial event to find out the full truth behind the incident that shaped the country's modern history. Tomorrow, the National Archives Administration will start a new project to organize government documents, which will serve as the basis for writing an investigative report on national transitional justice. There will be a unit dedicated to handling documents on 228, and I want to make it especially clear that we will use the utmost rigor in determining responsibility over the incident. I also hope that the bill to promote transitional justice can be passed into law during the current legislative session so that we can have an independent authority handling the work of transitional justice in Taiwan. But the government's failure over the past 70 years to identify those behind 228 has been hard to bear, especially for the family members of those affected. 228 is a day we have trouble facing up to. Every time I recall the tragedy that befell my paternal grandfather and seeing the pain and sorrow of my own father, I think that the historical dispute under which we have only victims but no perpetrators will be able to soothe neither the souls of the victims nor the pain of their family members. It cannot heal the scars on our hearts. Taipei Mayor Ko Wenzhou, whose own grandfather was killed in 228, called for the change in government to bring a real effort to expose the tragedy and heal the scars it left.